It's no secret that attending the NABJ convention is a costly investment. So costly that some people resort to forging convention badges to get in. And that got us wondering, just how hard would it be to make one that could pass as the real thing? Let's look at the badge. I got mine here. I'll just produce a new one. NABJ student projects web producer Michael Grant took us through the process of what it takes to forge a fraudulent badge. First, he did a quick Google search to find the NABJ 2014 logo. NABJ Boston. It's the first result. That is a pretty high resolution image. So I will view the image. This is and I'll save it. Next, he set his sights on replicating the text. Uh, now I'm researching uh, what kind of typeface we have here. Uh, I think you can really recognize it pretty easily by the A. There's a curve in the A here, and it's identical to this one, so I know it's Arial. It's probably Arial Bold. Then Michael got to work in Photoshop. Now I'm going to place the logo and I'll reduce it to about that size. And I'll write out my new information. Because I no longer uh, am high on Mike Designs in Neptune City. I am Michael Grant of the San Francisco Chronicle. And now I'm ready to save it. I've saved my new badge. Uh, I'm going to email it to myself and print it out. He printed out his fake badge and it was incredibly similar to the original. So we decided to put it to the test. I cut the paper down to size, slid it into my placard, and went down to the career fair. I walked in two different entrances with my faux documentation and even chatted with one of the security guards, but no one asked me any questions. It's pretty clear that these homemade name cards can pass as the real thing, but the real scary part is, Michael said, forging the badge was easy. So beginning to end, uh, this took maybe about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, really just depends on how fast your printer is.